Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the Just a Note stamp set from Mama Elephant, and I'm going to be creating some cards that I will be giving away on a cruise that when you see this video, I'll actually be on the cruise ship. Um, in the past, uh, in fact, it was about six weeks ago I went on a cruise, and I mentioned in a video that I like to give cards with with monetary tips inside to some of the crew on the ship. So these are the cards that I that I took on the cruise with me. So the first thing I did was I cut down some watercolor paper. This is some Fabriano Artistico Extra White watercolor paper. And I cut it to four and a half by four and a half. And I'm going to be creating a few different watercolor backgrounds using different mediums. So this first one is using some Nouveau Shimmer Powder in the color Violet Procade. And I showed this in a video a couple weeks ago and I mentioned that when I went to spray water on top of the powder that it was really messy. So I wanted to try it out in a box. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm using a box to help contain some of that spray. Um, there are other ways to use these powders that aren't as messy, but I absolutely loved how it looked with tons of water on top, really softening out those pigments and giving it a very ethereal look. I just loved how it turned out. Now, there is a ton of water on top of this, so you do have to be really careful, sop up the edges, um, especially if you want the edges to be soft and you don't want to have a harsh edge, you really have to be on top of sopping up some of that color before it really sets into the paper. So those two spots in that top corner were really not really spreading as much as I wanted them to. So I just tapped them with a wet paintbrush and it helped get those colors moving. So here I am sopping up some more of that water around the edges. And then in order to stop the color from moving, I used my heat tool to speed up the drying process. This just helps prevent any um, weird edges that might occur. For my second watercolor background, this one was a little bit of a, an experiment and a mixture of fine tech pearlescent watercolor paints and some traditional watercolor paints. Now originally I thought I would only use these pearlescent paints, but they didn't really show up that well on the white watercolor paper. I've used these in the past on top of some darker paper and they're beautiful. The colors really show, shine through and they shimmer and they're absolutely gorgeous. But on top of white, they kind of fell really flat to me and they weren't looking very beautiful. So that's when I brought in my traditional watercolor paints in order to add some vibrant color. So I added some purple and some blue and I went back to the gold in that pearlescent palette from Fine Tech, trying to get it to work and I just couldn't get those colors to work. So eventually I sort of abandoned the idea of doing shimmer watercolors and I just bring in some colors from my Magello Mission Gold palette. And like I did with the previous watercolor background, I wanted the edges to be very soft. So I tried to avoid taking those colors all the way to the edge. And I also made sure to keep lots of water on it. So I did a third background using Distress Inks and it's already finished off to the side there. I ended up not using it because I wasn't a real big fan of the color combination I chose. I think if I was making some more like autumn themed cards, I think that color combination would work, but I just wasn't feeling the colors. So I didn't bother put leaving that in the video for today. Um, it was basically some ink smushing, but I did do another background, a fourth background here that I wanted to show you the process. And with this one, I smushed the ink onto a transparency sheet or a slick surface, and then picked it up like a regular paint. I painted it onto a wet watercolor piece and then dried it with my heat tool. After everything was dry, I spritzed some water into my hand and then flicked that down onto the watercolor piece. Now, because this is Distress Ink, it's going to reactivate with water really, really well. So I can take a paper towel and just dab up those water droplets, and then I have a little bit of texture on this background. Regular watercolor paints will react a little bit, but not as much as Distress Ink, so it's kind of a fun technique and a fun method to get a nice watercolor background. 
So now I'm going to take all three of those backgrounds and I'm going to stamp the really large Just a Note greeting from that stamp set I showed at the beginning of the video. And I'm stamping each of these onto um, the watercolor paper with Versamark ink. I'm going to use some embossing powder and so I needed to use a really sticky ink. The embossing powder I'm using today is from Brutus Monroe, and this is the color Sterling. It's a just a really nice metallic silver embossing powder. And I'm going to take my heat tool and melt the powder until it's melted. And you can see that it gives a really nice shine to the sentiment. I think it's gorgeous on top of that soft, colorful background. So I did that same exact stamping and embossing on the other two watercolor pieces as well. I love this one on this purple background and I also love it on this more multicolored background. I think the metallic lettering really shines. So I trimmed down these pieces so that they were four inches by four inches. I wanted the finished card size to be four and a quarter by four and a quarter so they would still fit inside a standard envelope. So I've got some cardstock here. This is some Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And I've cut that to be eight and a half inches wide by four and a quarter tall, and then scored that at four and a quarter so that I had a square card base. Now to finish off these watercolor pieces, I ran my Versamark ink pad along the edges of the paper, and then I dipped the paper into the embossing powder. This is going to give me a really thin silver line or border around the outside edge of these watercolor pieces. It's just another way to incorporate that metallic finish and also give a little bit of definition to the edges of these watercolor pieces. I'm putting them straight onto white card bases. So in some cases where the watercolor went all the way to the edge, I wanted to give it a little bit of a finished look. So I did that to the other two as well, and then put some foam adhesive on the back. I made sure there was quite a bit of adhesive so that I wouldn't have any sagging areas when I uh, eventually put this in an envelope and give it away. So all three of these cards were basically done at this point. But I did notice as I was putting this last one on that a little bit of that pearlescent shimmer that's in the Nouveau Shimmer powders was coming off on my fingertips. I mentioned that in a previous video with the shimmer powders that it really does need to be set with like an acrylic spray or something like that. And in that video, a bunch of you asked if you could use Distress Microglaze on top of Nouveau uh, shimmer powders. So I thought I would give it a try. Why not? And I'm going to have this be a cautionary tale to all of you. Um, it covered up the shimmer powder really well. Had no complaints with that. It, it coated it and it protected the shimmer from coming off on my fingertips later. But it did something that I wasn't expecting. Uh, the microglaze started to break down the embossing powder. And you're going to see this change a lot here once I start buffing the microglaze, which is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to uh, kind of rub it, rub it in with your fingertips and then buff out the extra, extra microglaze with a paper towel or a cloth. And as I was uh, taking this off, it was turning my paper towel silver. It was gray. You're going to get a glimpse right there. It was eating away at that embossing powder. I was not expecting it. It really surprised me. And it almost ruined this card. I re really didn't like how it looked. I mean, see how much it eats away at it? I'm going to show you a comparison between one of the other ones that has the straight embossing powder with no um, microglaze on top. And you can see that one is much more solid has a nice shiny finish whereas that purple one just doesn't look right if that makes sense so caution don't use microlase on top of embossing powder thanks so much for watching today's video i'll be back very soon uh, with another video for you guys in fact on wednesday it's actually a live video from bermuda where i'm on my cruise i'm going to give you guys some travel tips things like that uh, traveling with your crafting supplies this will, it'll just be a quick chat Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Mm -hmm.